Social Justice Warrior Metal is here, and yes, it's just as bad as you thought it would be. Oh look, PJW's triggered by a song, what a snowflake. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking triggered, fight me! I'm not really triggered. <laughs> I'm triggered. Let's analyse the lyrics. Verse. <laughs> Bridge. <laughs> Chorus. <laughs> But seriously. You just got knocked the fuck out. The punishment fits the crime. You just got knocked the fuck out. The punishment fits the crime. What's the crime? Molesting kids, torturing animals. Oh no, it's actually the thought crime of supporting Donald Trump. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> Stray from the path, guitarist Tom Williams defended the song, saying there is enough hate, misery, and division in this country. Right, so the band who advocates violently assaulting people for having a different opinion is lecturing us about hate. 2017 in a 40 trend with a racist president that's making everything great again. It's 2017 but in a 40s trend with a racist president that's making everything great again. It took us 45 seconds to get to literally Hitler. Notice the seamless transition between Trump supporter and actual Hitler-loving Nazi. So this is basically a bunch of autistically screeching punks from New York snarling about how hard-working Americans living in flyover country who voted for Trump because they saw their livelihoods being decimated are actually Sieg Heiling fascists. Yes, it's that fucking reductive. It's that fucking dumb. Racism, constantly. Where are you seeing racism? On television. <laughs> Anywhere, really. Like, what has he done that's racist, I'm saying? I don't know. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. They're trying to censor that they're the fucking oppressor. Uh, no, last time I checked, it was Antifa thugs trying to censor conservatives by pepper spraying women in the face and beating them with flagpoles. The video basically ends with them terrorizing and beating the guy before tattooing a swastika into his head. Because torturing people for having different thoughts is so avant-garde. That's not authoritarian at all. 4chan discovered that this angry little manlet still lives with his parents. <laughs> no surprise given that around 92% of left-wing activists do too. Oh, but he's gonna knock you the fuck out. If he's allowed to leave his mom's basement, that is. Dude, you're literally about four foot nine, and you look like Justin Bieber after 10 years of meth abuse. Here's actual footage of him knocking someone the fuck out. If someone so much as breathed on him, he'd get owned worse than the dislike ratio for this video. Nazi punk fuck off! So that's a reference to a dead Kennedy song about neo-Nazis ruining the punk movement. If you've come to fight, get out of here. You ain't no better than the bouncers. So the dead Kennedys were actually making an anti-violence statement. We ain't trying to be police when you ape the cops, it ain't anarchy. Which is pretty appropriate, isn't it? Stray from the path, because when you ape the dominant culture, it ain't a counterculture. This idea that everyone right of Bernie Sanders is a Nazi, pushed by dominant leftist cultural institutions of media, television, and Hollywood. Punch some people in the face! Violent Antifa scum, protected by giant corporations like CNN, who describe their riots as peaceful protests. That's who you're aligned with, and that ain't the counterculture. You want to be the new Rage Against the Machine? You are the fucking machine. You're not the counterculture. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the counterculture now. I'm the captain now. <laughs> you're hardly straying from the path when you're regurgitating what everyone else on the fucking path is saying. The so distinctly Rage Against the Machine brand of anti-establishment vocals. Anti-establishment? Give me a fucking break. Nickelback are more anti-establishment than these frauds. What happens to musicians who do actually stray from the path and dare to say something original or anything that contradicts far-left dogma? They get shit-canned. They're no longer signed for speaking their mind. They recently got dropped by their record label for giving some, quote, ugly opinions. On the topic of deportation in the U.S., Doris, who's from Bosnia, said, quote, ICE is just doing their job. Oh my god. I guess this is as much a reflection on the state of music as it is politics. Stupid hipster teens are walking around in Nirvana t-shirts, but don't even recognize Nirvana's music. <laughs> Kurt Cobain rolls in his grave. And whether you agreed with their political stance or not, at least bands 30, 40 years ago 
were actually anti-establishment. The Sex Pistols may have been reckless idiots, but at least they were annoying the status quo, not amplifying it. Their records were banned by the establishment, their gigs were shut down. Never mind being banned, Stray From The Path doesn't even get age restricted on YouTube when they're depicting people being beaten and tortured. So long as it's Trump supporters being beaten up, that's advertiser friendly. Whereas I get age restricted for having a negative opinion about modern art. So Google, the biggest corporation on the planet, allows Stray From The Path to break YouTube's terms of service to deliver this anti-establishment message. That's not anti-establishment, that's being protected by the establishment. That's not raging against the machine, that's getting down on your knees and sucking the machine's giant throbbing corporate cock. <laughs>